Okay, so we are coming down the home straight for this series and in this video we're going to be tackling uh, the probability distribution table question in which in this question they ask you to draw a probability distribution table of a random variable, usually a discrete random variable, sorry, of which they usually call x. And then they ask you to find the expectation value and the variance from that uh, probability distribution table. So you've got all the examples uh, from past papers where they have asked this. Um, here gives you the past paper they're from as well. You got all those. You can see, look, I mean, they're all really the same. They give you get you to draw a probability distribution table and then find the mean and variance or expectation. Like draw a probability distribution table, find expectation variance. You know, they're all pretty pretty similar. We're going to be doing two questions in this video. Um, two different styles where they ask on probability distribution tables, but you've got all those past paper questions and all of the extracted answers there for you. But let's just jump in to doing some good representations of the style of question. And it comes out a lot. You see there's like 16 times in the past, what, four years? That's a lot of times. Anyway, let's uh, do a couple questions here. So we've got they give you a scenario. They would give you that you've got a fair dice with the size numbered one, two, 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 three, six. And so then they give you the score X is found by squaring the number on the face of the die that the die shows and then subtracting four. So it wants you to draw up a, a probability distribution table for X. Well, first of all, we need to find out what possible values X can have, but we, we we know that when we throw the die, throw the die, we can have, we can throw a one, and we can throw a two, a three, or a six. So when we throw it, we can throw those three numbers. So an x will be equal to, they say x is the number that's thrown. So we can say the throw, what, what, what the number we get, either one, two, three, or six, uh, squared, minus 4. So let's find these values of x and then draw the probability distribution table for x. Okay, so let's say if we roll and we throw a, throw a 1, well what is the x going to be? Well it's going to be 1 squared minus 4, which equals minus 3, right? What else can we get? If we throw a 2, well it's going to be 2 squared minus 4, which is 4 minus 4, which is 0. And what if we throw a 3? Well that's 3 squared minus 4, which is going to be 5. Right, 9 minus 4, and then finally 6 squared is 36 minus 4 is 32. So these are the 1, 2, 3, 4. So this, these are the only values that x can take. So let's draw our probability distribution table. And let's draw a way better straight line than that. Ooh, oh man, I thought I would have gotten better by now. Okay. So we've got these possible values for our discrete random variable. Right, and then we want to find what is the probability of these discrete these values of x occurring. So, like, what is the probability that our discrete random variable x equals negative three? Well, that occurs when we roll a one. So, the probability that our discrete random variable x equals negative three is the same as the probability if we throw a one. So, I'm just going to say uh, say throw row a 1. Right? And what does that equal? Well, the probability that we throw a 1 is just 1 out of 6, right? There's 6 possible rolls. We could throw, you know, any of these. And the probability of throwing a 1 is 1 out of 6. Right? So the probability that x equals negative 3 is 1 out of 6. Right? And so what's the probability that x equals 0? Well, that's equal to the probability if we throw a 2, right? Probability if we throw, I'm just going to write 2. Probability if we throw a 2, well, what does that equal? Well, the probability we throw a 2 is there's 3 chances for us to throw a 2 out of 6. So that's 3 out of 6, which is a half, right? Uh, we could do the same for 5. So x equals 5. Well, the probability that this occurs, well, is when we throw a 3, right? because we get um, this value of 5 when we throw a 3, 3 squared minus 4. 
So what's the probability that we throw a 3? Well, it's 1 out of 6. And then the same goes to the last one, the probability that x equals 32. Well, this is the probability that we throw a uh, 6, right? And the probability of that occurring is also 1 out of 6. So that's 1 out of 6. So that's your probability uh, distribution table, right? You've given, got the values of x can take and the probabilities of those values occurring. And what you want to note here that, oh, okay, it sums up to 1, which is good, right? 1 over 6 plus 3 over 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 is equal to 1. You know, All the probabilities should sum up to 1. And then they always like to do this after they, you find this probability distribution table, then you have to find the um, expected uh, value of x and the variance of x. Well, the expected value of x, we can look at this here. So this is on your uh, formula sheet. So for a discrete random variable, you have this equation, which is the sum of xp, which is equal to, so it's the sum of xp. So it's the sum of these x values times their probability. Right, so this is minus 3 for the first one, minus 3 times p, which is one the probability of minus 3 occurring, plus 0 times 1 over, uh, sorry, 1 over 2, plus 5 times the probability of that occurring is 1 over 6, and then plus 32 times 1 over 6 as well. You plug all that into your calculator, I did this before. And you get 5.67. So that's your expected value of x. And then your variance, well, this again from your probability table is this. I mean, from your formula table. Well, you have this. This is just the same thing, but we square all these, so I can write this out. So this would be the first one would be minus 3 squared times the probability of that is 1 over 6 plus 0 squared uh, times half plus 5 squared times 1 over 6 and then finally 32 squared 32 squared times 1 over 6 and then you minus this squared so you minus 5.67 squared and if you put all that into your calculator you get 144.22 so there you have it. And that's pretty much the way that they always ask it. The only thing that will be different in all of them is the scenario. So they have different scenarios, but you always have to do this, you know, find the probability distribution table <clears throat> and then find expected and variance values. But I, I thought I'd do another one here really quickly before I end, which is when they look, they like to spice these things up. And this, but I just want to show you that it's exactly the same. So in this case, they give you the table and then they want you to find these values of P and Q. So they give you a probability distribution table and then they give you this um, expected value of X and then they want you to find the values of P and Q. Now, this is using the exact same knowledge. Like, you know that the expected value of um, uh, X here is the sum of XP, right? So we, we, have, we want to find these values of P and Q. Now, because we have two unknowns, that means we need two equations. So, uh, two equations to find these two unknowns, right? So we have this, which is going to equal to, let's write this out, so our expectation value equals 3.05. So that means that the sum of xp equals 3.05, right? And what is this? Well, let's, let's figure this out. Well, the sum is going to be our 1 times 0 0.15 plus 2, uh, x is 2, p, 2 times p plus 3 times 0 0.4 plus 6 times q, right? And that equals 3.05. You know, it's the same as this, the same thing that we did here. Okay, so simplify this out. 0 0.15 plus 2p plus 3 is 1.2, 3 times 0 point plus 6q equals 3.05. So then we get what? 1.35 plus 2p plus 6q equals 3.05. So let's do 3.05 minus 1.35 equals um, 1.7. So we get this equation equals 1.7. So we've got one equation 
um, ooh, one equation with p and q relating p and q but that's not enough we need another one where can we get another one from well we know that the probabilities the total probability sum of all of the probabilities has to equal one so let's find that we know that 0 0.15 plus p plus 0 0.4 plus q equals one so that gives us p plus q plus 0 0.55 equals one so we get p plus q equals one minus 0 0.45 so there you go, you've got another equation. Now, damn, my writing is bad today. Now you can find both of these. Now you can find P and Q. So if we just look at this, we can say that P equals 0 0.45 minus Q. Um, and then you can substitute this into here. So substituting 2 into 1, we get that we get 2 times 0 0.45. So I'm just substituting this into here. Minus Q, I mean plus 6q equals 1.7 right so that gives you 0 0.9 minus 2q plus 6q equals 1.7 so that's what we get 4q equals 0 0.8 so q equals 0 0.2 and if q equals 0 0.2 that means that from 2 we get p plus 0 0.2 Substituting it into here equals 0 0.45. So our P equals 0 0.25. Cool. So you know that's a different, like it's it's different in the style, but in its essence it's the same thing. It's exactly the same. It's using the exact same knowledge. I just wanted to show you that. But anyway, that's it. Um, so go download this worksheet, which has all of these uh, style of probability distribution table questions uh, so you can go through that get a great idea of this style and you've got the answers there for you as well but that's it from me um, you know just g grab your mouse and and go over and click the like button and then if you want you can also click the subscribe button because you know the it grows my channel and you know it grows my ego as well uh, but uh, that's it I'll see you in the next video